Well, up next, a roundup of business stories that made the headlines today. Equity Bank's Congo subsidiary Equity BCDC has launched a mentorship and leadership program dubbed Equity Leaders Program. The program has selected 131 top performing young scholars, including 81 boys and 50 girls, who topped their final six secondary school examinations. The scholars will form the first cohort of the ELP beneficiaries in DRC. Elsewhere, the Water Sector Trust Fund has won the 2021 UN Public Service Awards for the second year running for innovation and excellence in public service in support of realization of the Sustainable Development Goals. The awards are organized by the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs to promote the role, professionalism and visibility of public service for the realization of the 2030 Agenda. The government has embarked on an electricity project that will see 1,200 public places and 35,000 homes connected to electricity. While launching the project in Taitataveta County, CS Ambassador Monica Juma gave strict warnings to contractors to complete the work in time. The project, which is being spearheaded by the Rural Electrification and Renewable Energy Corporation, is funded by a consortium of Arab development partners at a cost of 6.4 billion shillings. MFS Technologies and Heritage Insurance have launched a digital insurance platform with Moto Insurance Installment Plan. The platform, dubbed InsureMe, aims to meet the growing demand for insurance policy purchases and claims processes. And finally, the government through the ICT Ministry in collaboration with the Kenya Private Sector Alliance, KEPSA, have begun training small and medium-sized enterprises and youth in the Nyanza region on online businesses to promote the digital economy. Through the Ajira Digital Program undertaken by the Ministry of ICT, the government began the training on businesses in Homa Bay County before moving to Kisumu. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.